Hey y'all, it's your girl Ashanti, yeah, aka Shine Doe. <sighs> I'm out of breath right now, but <laughs> I'm back at y'all with another video. So as you can see, I'm in my money fit, money fit, money, money. <laughs> so today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be another DIY, another DIY. Eh, eh. Anyway, so today I am going to be turning this jumpsuit. Yes, it goes all the way down. I don't know if y'all can see it on the camera, but it goes all the way down. The whole back is out. And I'm going to be turning this into a dress. As some of y'all may know, my birthday is October 17th, 2019. I will be turning, I ain't telling y'all, but <laughs> I'm going to Miami for my birthday. And I'm going to be there for five days and four nights. And this is one of my outfits. Well, this is one of my outfit ideas. Um, I don't know why I just wanted to have a money fit. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be lit. You know what I'm saying? Lit. But <laughs> um, I'm going to be turning this into a dress. And I may add some little embellishments here and there. Um, but I felt like this would look better as a dress. I couldn't find a money dress nowhere online. They had like two pieces rompers yeah i couldn't find a money dress nowhere so this is the so this is our canvas and i'm about to create if you want to see how i turn this into this then stay tuned Before you finish watching this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You wanna know why? Because I got a lot of geek shit coming, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to Miami, got the hauls coming. I know y'all like them fashion hauls, y'all like the DIYs. So go hit my... <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into the video. All right, so the items you will need are scissors. Same ripper. The outfit from Amazon. And the actual outfit from Amazon. Sew machine. Say. <laughs> okay, so the first step into turning your jumpsuit into a dress. I'm gonna lay it out. Now this top part, we probably won't worry about it. It's really this bottom part that we're going to be worried about. So the object is to undo the inseam and then stitch it all together. Okay, and this outfit is like really slinky. Excuse me if I sound crazy, I'm kind of sick right now. Yeah, birthday's in three days and I'm sick. Why do you know? What we're going to do is, we are not taking this out. Gonna take this out. Okay, okay. Now I may just cut it because it's already been surged. Or finished you know some people say that but um I don't know how that's gonna come out so I'm gonna try to use the seam ripper to take it out first and then if that doesn't work we're gonna go to the scissors you know what I'm saying okay this is gonna 
My hands ashy. Don't judge me, judge your mama. Okay. But yeah, like I said, this part right here might be hard to take out, so you might just want to cut it. <laughs> I mean, unless unless you have something where you don't have enough space, like like if you cut it, you're gonna be compromising um, parts of the outfit, then you might as well just cut it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut this. But yeah, I already made a hole, so I think the easiest thing, or the best thing to do, would be to just go through there and cut it like that, instead of trying to stay on the serge line, which is that. Like, that's what a serger does. It basically locks it in so that your body part's not slipping out. But you still want to be careful on this part too. And they're giving me pain. Boom. Yeah. One of the things opened up. Alright, so now that it's both legs are open, we're gonna lay one on top of the other. And I'm gonna just stitch it all the way to and I'm just stitch it all the way to the bottom and see how long I want the skirt because I'd rather it be too long than too short. You feel me? Now it might bunch up a little bit in the hip area, but that's okay, that's cool. And here's the back, you can see the tag. And then there's the front. So we have to stitch that back together too. All right, so basically you can see where the, the inseam was here, how it kind of pokes out. This is the front. What you wanna do is, Stitch it to where you can make it a straight, a straight line down, like cutting that inseam out basically. And you can do the same thing with this one. Now this one looks a little harder, but basically, y'all seen how y'all seen how this one look on me? Like it comes, this part is like the top of my butt, like directly at the top. So you know how long your butt is, so. You go down just however long you think your butt is <laughs> and cut, I mean, start stitching, straight line, all the way down. So now I'm about to get some pins and we are going to work our magic.
Alright, so now we're on to the sewing machine. Here's my bra. So what we're going to do here is stitch down where the pins are. Straight stitch. So the next thing that you want to do is cut the excess. Like you can see where the stitch line is, you're going to cut that excess off. But I'm going to try it on first to make sure that this is correct before we go cutting off fabric that we might need. And then the same over here, you can see the stitch line, I'm going to cut over there. All right, y'all, so I'm about to show y'all a rough draft, basically, because I'm still going to cut this dress shorter. So, it's really long. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's really long. And y'all already know what the top look like, so yeah. But I'm going to cut it right above my knees, and we'll go from there. Okay, so since I want it right above my knees, I'm going to cut at least a half inch to an inch under that, so that I have enough in case I need to hem it or. You know, worst case scenario, something happens and we need extra fabric. So I'm gonna here, I'm gonna go here. Matter of fact, now I'm gonna go here. So, cut right there. Alright y'all, so I think it's cute, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch this on. Now you want to be careful because this does not stretch, but the dress does, so it might be a little difficult to move in it, <laughs> but I'm going to try a, I'm going to try a longer stitch with and see how that works all right y'all so this is the finished product i hope you like it because i like it i will give y'all my deeds though so i do like it i do but I feel like I should have gotten a small in this instead of getting a medium because I got a medium thinking that I would need to go up a size to compensate for having to cut the jumpsuit and stitch it back together. 
so it's a little bigger now than the actual jumpsuit was like up here and everything I might have to do some alterations or whatever and um, yeah other than that I really do like it so tell me what y'all think leave a comment below what you think if you like this video if you like this dress remake make sure you smash that like button if you're not subscribed to my channel I don't know what you're waiting for we are really almost at that 1k for the giveaway so keep running it up just keep running it up but anyway I will see y'all in my next video I love y'all I will see y'all in this dress on my birthday <laughs> In Miami and I'll see y'all in my next video peace